Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how I made this yummy carnivore loaf using the new carnivore crisps flours. I used the chicken breast flour and the beef flour. I also used their beef butter, which is tallow, and a few other ingredients. It's super easy. I started with adding four eggs to my Nutri Bullet mixing cup. You could use a blender if you didn't have the Nutri Bullet, but I added four eggs and then I added three egg yolks. So I did use the Carnival Crisp tallow, but you could use butter or another fat if you'd like. I used two tablespoons and added it directly to my mixing cup. I added a quarter cup of the beef flour and I added a third cup of the chicken flour. If you didn't have two of the carnivore crisps flour, you could just use um, the one. I wanted a little bit of variety, but you just want to make sure your amounts were equal. I added a pinch of salt and half a teaspoon of baking powder. I know some carnivores can't have baking powder and that's fine. You can leave it out. It won't make or break your loaf. So after combining it in the mixer, I took the lid off and scraped down the sides because there was just a little bit of powder and then gave it a good mix. And you can see it is nice and combined. It's almost like a rich pancake batter at this point. I add it directly to my silicone bread pan. I love the silicone pans because I don't have to worry about using parchment paper, which you'd want to use if it wasn't in a silicone pan. I preheated my oven to 350 degrees and I baked at 25 minutes. And here is the loaf fresh out of the oven. You can see it doesn't rise as much as your traditional bread loaf would, but it is kind of springy to touch and my toothpick comes out clean. So again, it doesn't rise as much as bread, but still not bad. I let it cool before slicing. I wanted to cut right into the center because this bread, again, isn't as high as your traditional loaf, but still, I was really quite impressed with this loaf. It had a nice springy texture. It was really sturdy. It held up well. It wasn't too flimsy or dry. It even had like an actual crumb texture to it. And yeah, I did a little taste test with some butter and I really liked the taste. It wasn't overpowering. It wasn't sweet. It wasn't eggy. I know I get that question a lot. It just had a slight salty, um, salty taste, but not, not really overpowering. And here is the whole loaf. I got 18 pieces. Two of the crusts were quite small, but it worked out really well. I was able to store it in a glass container in the fridge. And then the next day I had pulled it out. It held up really well. Again, it didn't get um, flimsy or soggy or dried out. It was actually better the next day because the um, flavor was just like neutral. There was no sweetness or saltness, no eggy taste. I added some cream cheese and everything but the bagel seasoning. And yeah, it was awesome. I'll definitely be making this again. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know if you try this carnivore loaf. I think you'll really like it. Thanks for watching guys.